Japan has been bolstering preparedness for a so-called mega quake. Researchers recently estimated potentially higher death tolls and more costly damage in the event of such a powerful quake. CNN's Elakia Salvaraji explains. Well, Japan is bracing for what could be one of the deadliest natural disasters in its history, a mega earthquake in the Nankai Trough, which is just off the Pacific coast. And experts say there is now an 80% chance it will hit within the next 30 years. So, how is a mega quake different from an earthquake? Mega quakes, generally defined as an earthquake of magnitude 8.5 or higher. The mega quakes mainly depends on the geological conditions of the area and also on the historical recurrence interval. Mega quakes are rare but not unprecedented. Globally, they occur roughly one every 10 to 20 years. And if that happens, forecasts suggest up to 300,000 people in Japan could die. That's because it's not just about the ground shaking. This quake could trigger tsunami as high as 34 meters. That's like a 10-story building coming at you. And the economic hit? An estimated 1.81 trillion US dollars in losses. But what exactly is the Nankai Trove? Well, it's a 900 kilometers long trench under the Pacific Ocean, and that's where the Philippine Sea Plate is sliding under the Eurasian Plate. That constant pressure means the Nankai Trough is seismically highly active, and it's known for producing mega earthquakes roughly once every 100 to 150 years. A massive quake at this subduction zone is known as a mega thrust earthquake, and it can result in a tsunami. Japan is one of the most earthquake-prone places on Earth, so it sees about an 80% chance of magnitude 8 and 9 earthquakes along this zone. Well, if a mega-thrust earthquake happens, major cities such as Osaka, Kyoto and Hiroshima could be in the tsunami's path. And more than 1.23 million people may need to evacuate. That's roughly 1% of Japan's population. Given the estimated scale of the mega quake, how would other countries be affected? Tsunamis generated by a mega quake in Japan would primarily affect Pacific Ocean Basin, especially Japan's coastline, parts of Russia's Far East, maybe Taiwan, the Philippines, and possibly Hawaii and US West Coast. However, indirect effects such as supply chain disrupted, imports from Japan are affected, uh, maybe economic impacts on like all other global market, possible travel delays, flight rescheduling, especially the routes transporting Japanese airspace, etc, etc. So with all that in mind, is it safe to go on a trip to Japan in the near future? While we can't predict exactly when a mega quick will strike, scientists can identify where and how likely they are over time. Uncertainty is very high. In Japan, the risk is high over the next few decades, but not so immediate. Japan has invested heavily in early warning systems. They have invested heavily in infrastructure resilience, and they have heavily invested in public education, significantly mitigating risk to life and property. While we can't predict exactly when a mega quick will strike, scientists can identify where and how likely they are over time.